Welcome to Flash CS5 Tutorial 35, a two-player game. It's a follow-up to the Tutorial 33, which was Keyboard Letters Move to Objects. And I have that, that Flash program on my stage now. And what we're going to do is just add to that. First thing I want to do is this lock all the layers and this rectangle layer, which is this border, I want to delete that, delete that layer. Open up the actions panel and I want to take off the limits that we had on these, on the movements here. So scroll way down here, down, 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 scroll down. And take these limits off. This, all that delete that go down start here delete that this is what limits the movement of the ball on the stage we're not going to limit that this in this game delete that there should be eight of these total delete that that They're all deleted. Go back to the main timeline. Select the ball R layer, insert a new layer, and call it barriers. B A R R I E R. These are the things that will be in the way of us. And let's just right now, first of all, unlock the two layers that have this ball. I'm going to make my stage a little smaller and move these out of the way for a minute. unlock that barriers layer and I have made this little block with my rectangle tool while I have this barrier selected I'm going to go up modify it convert it to a symbol make sure movie clip is selected B A R underscore M C and while it's still selected I'm going to give it an instance name B A R one underscore M C. I'm going to bring that barrier in again. Put it there. Going to bring it in. Put it here. And I'm going to name those. This one's going to be B A R two underscore M C. This one I'm going to call. B A R three underscore M C. Now I'm going to pause instead of you going through it all with me, and uh, I'll make some more of these. I've made five of those barriers. I call this barrier one, barrier two, three, four, and five, and naturally with the M C after them. I'm going to copy those. Highlight them all like that. Right click copy from so copying them all I'm locking this barrier layer I'm opening a new layer I'm going to call it barrier B A R R L W as in the lower the lower ones I'm going to come on stage paste in place using my arrow keys I'm going to drag it down approximately there up to modify transform arrange flip vertically and that puts them the same they're aligned the same now this gap here is the one that you got to be concerned with these gap these balls got to go be able to get through these gaps right now but you can always rectify that later on by changing the size of the ball okay now go to number these if that was one two three four or five this is going to be six seven eight nine ten so give them instance names and we'll be back I'm doing this last one with you and you notice they carried the um, old instance names and this is my barrier 10. I'm going to click on this while I still have it selected you can click on any of them copy it 
paste anywhere on the stage for now and move it right here in the middle lined with basically this one here and that will be barrier 11 instance name lock all them layers select the action layer first frame open the actions panel and all of this right down to here this there's two curly brackets at the end I want to be between those curly brackets or inside this function that's called a game it's inside that function and now we're going to do some tests to see if we hit those targets and first of all we're going to deal with the one that was called ball that's the blue one starts off if open bracket open bracket ball underscore MC that's capital B period hit test object small h capital T capital O if you spell it right it turns blue open bracket barrier one bar one capital B underscore MC close bracket close bracket that's testing to see if that ball hits the first barrier two pikes now the pike is located on your keyboard directly below the backspace you'll find a key that has the forward slash if you hit the uppercase of that that gives you one of these pikes so you need two of those and then what you can do is you can copy go again if you copy from here to here that's from that split those brackets up to the end of those pikes then you can paste that and that'll take you right to here and all you gotta do is change that to from a one to a two then you can paste it again and that'll take you to here and remove the two pikes that you would have had here and put another bracket so at the end we'll have three brackets so I'll I'll just show you that once more. I won't go through it, but I'll just put it on the stage for a little bit of time there. And a little bit of time there. And there. These are what's called the OR function. So that's saying that it hits object 1, object 2, or object 3. Barrier 1, 2, or 3. We'll trace the hit. That long IF OR statement is followed by a open curly bracket then T-R-A-C-E trace that turns blue open bracket quotation hit close quotations close bracket semicolon close curly bracket and let's just see if that works and it's the blue one and there it is it hit go back to that action panel now the fact is you could put all these ors in one big sentence just by continuing to do it the same way but on my machine for some reason once I get past three ors it slows the programming right down and it becomes a pain in the the backside so what I'll do is I'm gonna copy this right click copy it paste it in and just change these this would be now four five and six and actually I'm gonna do it again come down here paste it again this is going to be seven, eight, nine, seven, eight, and nine, and let's do it again. Paste ten and eleven. And we don't need, oh, this is what we don't need.
circle here, split those last two, and drag it down and take those two pikes, delete those, and this should be okay. I'm just going to test it. I have no errors, and the blue traces a hit, and I'm certain the rest of them would work. We can test that out. Now that satisfies the blue ball. And let's go up to the top of that, where that starts, right here. And let's, two backslashes, B-A-L-L, -L, which is B-L-U-E, which is a blue ball, hit. And from here, let's copy all the way down, except for that last curly bracket. Right click, copy that, click here insert a line and paste it go up to here and this is going to be red ball which is the ball R and any place you see ball any place you see the word ball put an, an R in there so that way the best way to do it is go R then copy that and then just paste it paste and there's 11 of them so I'll pause and do that I have them all done but I just want to try out and see if the red one gives me that that trace and make sure I got no error I got no errors now I'm going to move the red one and it's giving me the trace so it's working also I'm back to the main timeline it's time now for us to put the balls where they should be for the starting position and make them the same. I'm going to make it 100%. I'm going to start with the red ball. Oops, got to unlock it. Ball red, unlock it. And I want to unlock the lower barriers. And I want to select this barrier right here. Open the action, the properties panel. And I want to see where it is on the Y axis. And on the y-axis, it's, in my case, 305.25. 305.25. I want to make sure that this ball, this one, is in the same y-axis. So I just select the ball, and I'm going to change this to 305.25. we got to make things equal for both players and see how that dropped down here in line with that. Unlock the other barriers, unlock the other ball, select this barrier here, and note it's this Y. Mine is 94.95. Yours, yours are going to be different. Select the blue ball, make sure that its Y is the same as that one I just did. 94.95. And you see they line up really good. Now, Let's take and move this back a bit. So where the X here is 43, let's make the X 40. And then make this one's X 40. The other ball, make it 40. And now they're starting off in the same point. Note that this ball here, let's make its dimensions, make sure this is locked. It's a ball, so it should be symmetrical. Make sure this is locked. Make this 35. And select this ball. Make sure this is locked. And make this one 35. Now they're, they're exactly in the same spots as far as potential of winning. I'm just going to check once more what the X is for these two. Oh, it's 40. So it's 40, 94.5 for the blue. We want to write that down. And it's 40, 305.25 for the red. That's my, so make sure you have that written down. Go lock all layers. Open the actions panel again. And doesn't matter where we start. Let's start up here where the blue ball is hitting things. And instead of hitting this, what we want to do is have go to that spot. So B-A-L-L, -L, ball, P, 
period x equals, and we said the x was 3, we said the x was 40, I believe. Copy that. Paste it. And I believe we'll make this a y. And I believe the y for that ball was equal to this is the blue one, I think, 94.95. So now when it hits one of these objects, it should go right back to where it started. So let's just see if that's working. Test the movie. Undefined properties. Ball. Oh, ball movie clip. Okay, so let's go back to that action layer should be ball underscore MC of course ball underscore MC let's try it again and when I hit it it should just bounce right back there so anytime we hit this going to go back and start over now I like to have these two on the closer together so I'm just going to tab that up to there copy these two and put them in place of this next hit paste them here and paste them here and here paste now since we got all that copied let's come down to the ball red paste it in here, add an R, the X stays the same at 40, but the Y changes. Mine is going to be 305.25, and now all I got to do is copy that, and paste that. And let's make sure the red ball bounces back like it's supposed to. If I don't hit something, use my I key, there's my L key, and hit that, I bounce right back to where I'm starting from. Good. And make sure this one still works, which it does. Good. I think that's enough for this tutorial. There will be a follow-up. It'll be Flash CS5 Tutorial 36, a two-player game part two. So if you plan on doing that, make sure you save this FLA. Hope you learned something from this tutorial and hope you use what you learned.